Employers are gripped by labour shortages that we haven't seen in some time. Let me tell you how to fix that problem. Hi, I'm Stu, CEO of Studium. Now, we all know that employers are faced with an unprecedented amount of challenges when it comes to hiring people into their business. There are a number of reasons for labour shortages. More and more students are attending university, which is taking a crimp out of that early stage of the employment cycle. Less students or young people are interested in doing some of the more manual or monotonous tasks that in the past they've traditionally performed. And of course, we haven't had an influx of people from overseas into this country for quite some time. So, what's a hack to get around this labour supply issue? I'm gonna say the word and you are going to roll your eyes. You'll roll your eyes because you think it's really hard and it's gonna be a massive pain in your backside to do. Here's the word, internship. I'll pause for a little while while you complete your eye roll. But trust me, it's a really smart way to engage with young, bright people way earlier than ever before, a meaningful experience. An internship can be paid or unpaid and is often performed whilst the young person is still at university or a tertiary institution. Many universities have adapted their practices to allow the person to do it way earlier in their university studies. The benefit to the student is their degree or qualification becomes relatable to industry. How many of us sat through lectures and gone, how is this even relevant? And in some instances, it isn't. But actually working in a workplace may allow the student to see, oh, you know what? I just picked that up at university. Now I see how it's applied. For the employer, the benefits can be tenfold. For starters, you can bring someone into your business to complete tasks that you may not have the capacity to do, but that also add huge value to your business. One of the most common internships we see is in the marketing space where young people or students who are way advanced in digital technology can assist your business in some of their social media or digital strategies. Oftentimes you'd go to an agency to get these performed, which can cost tens of thousands of dollars, when a student can do these things for you quickly, efficiently, and at a minimal cost. Internships come in a range of forms and can be either paid or unpaid. We're going to talk about unpaid internships today, and that's where I see your ears prick up. Yes, the students are unpaid, but that doesn't mean you can have them for 12 months sitting in an office, hammering away at work. Internships in this modern age are often called work integrated learning because it's taking the student's study and applying it into the workplace and vice versa. These internships or will placements as they're called allow you to have the student for a short period of time to complete meaningful tasks. The internships need to be meaningful. That means you can't send them off for coffees. You need the student to be working on projects. Most universities will have an internship or a work integrated learning office. And the benefit of these is the student can go into that office and say, hey, I found an internship and that university office will contact you. They'll want to understand that you've got a framework that the student can undertake to make sure the experience is meaningful. Now the framework sounds like you're grinding your teeth, but trust me, once you've done it once, you can use it multiple times. And all it really takes is you to think about what are the key things I need this person to deliver in the role. Once the university is accepted or is comfortable with your framework, the student can set off working. The upside to the student is A, practical experience, but B, in many instances, they'll get a university credit for it. So you can see the upside to the student. They're knocking off one of their requirements whilst at university. The internship typically runs for 100 to 130 hours or the equivalent of 20 full days. I haven't come across many employers who'd put someone into an internship and run them for two weeks straight. Normally you'd work around the student's study or other work requirements. The other benefit is the university, if it's unpaid, will cover the insurance. So the other upside for the student and for the employer is the whole notion of trying before you buy. Having been involved in some internship programs before, I can tell you the strike rate in actually offering an employment position to an intern is incredibly high. You've had this person in your business for 100 to 130 hours, you've got to know them, they've integrated with your team, you've been able to see their work. Oftentimes the student is absolutely at the peak of their powers trying to impress you, so you get to see the best of them. Think about how you typically go through a recruitment process. Say for example, you want a marketing graduate, you'd post an ad, you get hundreds if not thousands of responses. Seeing a young person in the office and evaluating both the manner in which they deliver their work, but also how they interact with the rest of the team and yourself is invaluable and often leads to a smart hiring decision. Even if you don't have a position available at the time, I'd encourage you to stay in touch with these students because at some point they're gonna to need to graduate and find work. So it's a great way to interact with the student to ensure that you have your pipeline in the future in place. It's also really smart to consider students across their study spectrum. And you could have more than one intern in your office at a time. The beauty of these types of programs is you can use the same framework over and over again. You just need to make sure the student is benefiting from a learning experience. You can reach out to every university and try and find connections within the work integrated learning.
learning offices, or conversely, dive in a studium where students have spelled out that they're really keen to do things like internships. Those students are at your fingertips. www.studium.work. <coughs> I don't want to say that. <coughs> this, no, I don't want to say that. <coughs> I don't want to say that. Let me give you a tip. I don't do that. <clears throat>